guys, what's going on? This is Tom with The Strength Agenda. Today we are talking bar maintenance. We have three quick tips for you that are gonna help you maintain your bars better in the gym so you don't have to spend as much money in getting new bars every so often. Uh, the first tip that we have really doesn't have to do with the bar itself. It has more to do with the athletes that are using the bars. Uh, you see it posted on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, about athletes ripping their tights, whether they're virus tights, whether they're uh, Let's Go Apparel, whoever else makes tights, uh, whether they're compression shorts from like Nike Pro Combat, or if they're just a pair of old track pants. You always see it that right along the thigh, you see a lot of holes, you see a lot of rips, you see a lot of tears. When we had Alexi Tarakti in here last year for a seminar, one of the things that I noticed that he did right away was he went over to the Alico bar and he went and took some tape and he wrapped it around the knurling. Asked him why he did that and he essentially said, I don't like to rip my clothes. So if you have bars in your gym that are of good quality, chances are they're gonna have a little bit more of a bite, they're gonna have a little bit more of a sharper knurling. So look around where they're making contact with athletes' shins and quads and just put a little bit of tape around there. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be you know, a big ordeal. You can go as wide as some duct tape or Tarakti was even using scotch tape and it's still on one of our bars in the gym now. But all you're gonna do is just go about an inch or two from the start of the knurling in. You don't wanna cover too far this way because some athletes grip is right here and you don't wanna be messing with their grip. If the, the tape is gonna be smooth, the knurling's not gonna be smooth. You don't want that bar coming out of their hands when they're in the middle of a heavy lift. So save your pants, save your tights, get some tape, put it right around the inside of the knurling on the bar, and then just take it off when you're done, or you can leave it on. I don't recommend leaving duct tape or packaging tape on because if any moisture gets in between the tape and the bar, it could then kind of sit in there and oxidize the bar and rust the bar faster than normal. So grab some scotch tape, just wrap it around, and then after training, just take it off. Um, don't do this if you're going into somebody else's gym though, that's really rude and not very professional, okay? But save your pants, save your tights, put some tape around the, uh, the ends of your barbell and you'll thank me later. The next thing up is maintenance on the bar, okay? I don't know how many gyms I've gone into or that I've been a part of and they don't clean the bars, okay? This is a very simple thing. Um, I've heard from one source or another that uh, scrubbing the bars after every training session uh, wears off the finish on the bar. Alico sends a brush with their barbell. So if Alico thinks it's okay for you to be cleaning your bars, I think it's okay for everybody else to clean the other types of barbells out there. But if you don't have access to a brush, these can be purchased at Menards, uh, any uh, uh, Home Depot, any other hardware store. Uh, we got a couple of these for about a dollar or two. We have a bunch that hang up in the gym and after every training session, if you got any chalk on the bar, you are responsible for cleaning it up. You don't have to sit there and go to town and spend five minutes scrubbing as hard as possible, but just taking the brush, finding a spot that has some tape or uh, some chalk and just giving it a gentle once over, making sure you don't get, let any extra, excess chalk sit on the bars. Again, just like with the tape that can oxidize the bars, it can rust them faster. So make the bars last a little bit longer. Get yourself a brush from a hardware store and you're gonna thank us later because there's not gonna be as much chalk. Now, if you're past the point of no return and you just have chalk caked on there, I haven't done it myself because we've always taken good care of our bars, but one thing I have seen work is people will go and get a, uh, a sanding attachment and put it on a power tool, a drill, whatever, and they will sit there and go through and that does a pretty good job of getting the bars clean uh, as well. I don't recommend doing that every day. That is only for severe cases where there is a ton of chalk caked on the bars and it's a detriment to the bar. So either get a brush and use it every day, or if you're just gonna be lazy like that, get a power tool with a sanding adjustment and go over every couple of weeks or so and get all that caked off chalk on the bars. You don't want chalk sitting on these bars for long periods of time. It will rust the bar. And then lastly, uh, last year we got this kit sent from Bar Shield. Um, uh, this is a great kit. I highly recommend that if you are a weightlifting centric gym or you really care about your barbells, you want those things to stay nice and smooth and spinning, get yourself a kit like this. Uh, it comes with their cleaning solution. You don't need to use a ton of this, as you can see. Haven't used that much yet. Um, and it comes with a cloth. And then it also comes with its own brush. This isn't a wire brush. This is more of a, a soft bristle, a bristle brush. But all you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a little bit of the solution on the bar, 
work it in with the brush and then dry it off when you're done. Um, I do this about once a month. I take all the bars in the gym. We have about 12, 13 bars in here that are, are, are usable. And I go through and I just do a quick once over when I'm cleaning the gym on my normal uh, weekend. It, it, it keeps the bars spinning, keeps the bars working better longer, and I don't have to spend as much money replacing bars. The only time I spend money is if I bend a bar. So those are three tips that will help you guys with your bar maintenance and keeping them um, functioning better and longer and saving you some money. Tape right on the inside of the knurling. Uh, save everybody's uh, pants and thigh, uh, uh, tights and, and, and compression shorts. Uh, get a wire brush from a hardware store. They're cheap, they're inexpensive, they're easy to use. After every training session, just clean up some excess chalk. But if you have chalk caked on, I suggest getting a sanding attachment from a, to a, uh, attaching it to a drill and getting all the caked chalk off there because it's going to oxidize the bar. And then lastly, at least once a month, you could probably go a little bit longer than that, get a cleaning kit. I recommend Bar Shield. That's the one that we have here in the gym. Go ahead and get the kit. Keep your bars maintained. Don't waste your money on things you don't need to. Keep your bars in order. And you'll have a better gym for that. Until next time, take care, guys.